right, here we are at the Escalante Dominguez Conservation Area, getting ready to make what may be the first run ever done by any vessel down the dry fork of the Escalante. Uh, pack rafters may have run section of this at some point, I'm not sure, I can't see how anything else would have come down it, and most likely not a sup. Uh, Just got off the of San Juan at 7500. Definitely don't want that big giant surf fin, so that's why I like the holla. We, uh, changing our setup here to a little bit lower profile. Oh yeah, we're gonna get hand-to-hand -hand combat. This thing is tight and narrow up top here. And then I'll get more water lower down, but we're about to run a darn near 11 foot big river sup through the ultimate creek test. Getting ready. Gotta still blow up the board. And then we'll be on our way. We're about six miles up, Blackjack Point, just below it. Marker. So, we have death ahead, boys. Whoop, whoop, whoo! And that right there is exactly why you better know kind of where you're going and what you're doing in here because. Even with the lower volume, it piles up in that corner and you get jammed in there or under that log. It's really bad. The deadly jam behind me. That was the worst on the whole thing, so I'm all psyched and I'm taking a break here because now the greatest fears I feel are behind me. Still standing. Woo! Fight club.
you can't tell from the camera, but I actually have a bunch of sticks that are set up in an intricate way that I see right now. There's a fence right up ahead. This was the takeout eddy. So, you know, you really gotta make sure you're being smart. I got all sorts of rescue stuff on my body in case I lose my board and this and that. So for any people that think it's reckless or that get reckless, just know I don't waste time talking about my strategy, but everything is pretty dialed in as it can be. So, so I have the portage here and then uh, we'll be back on our way. You can actually see the uh, road there. It uh, crosses right in front of us. So I'm uh, going over top of about, oh, seven, I think, road crossings all underwater, um, whatever was of the road that's not underwater is pretty much totaled right now. So, uh, but it's been a good run so far. A uh, little bit of three spice there maybe on the creek side, two plus, three, uh, good stuff. All right, we'll keep going.
got some cell build up, starting to put out some verga. Uh, pretty big stuff quick. Driving out of here hopefully isn't too uh, wet. at the road fork which means that I'm only a couple of minutes from the car at this speed the road fork is where the river actually uh, went down the road and so it branches and follows the actual four by road in which it's now a new creek so this is where I go left and I'll be around the bend soon and that is it. After this, we'll start hitting the farms and the fences. And in about a quarter mile, just so everyone knows where we're at, we would hit the junction with Escalante Creek. And then if we turn right, we end up at the Gunnison only about oh maybe 10 miles not very far maybe less uh so that's where we're at yeehaw it was a heck of a good run had a lot of fun <laughs> 